they got her semi-stable to where they could hook up some monitors for an EEG in her head, um, but there was no brain activity. So we kind of knew that Logan had went to heaven. Dealing with loss is something that we all have to go through at some point, right? But for parents who lose a child, the pain can be unbearable. Well, tonight we are hearing from one local mom who lost her two-year-old daughter earlier this year to a drowning accident. Amy Steigerwald is speaking with her about how she is working to make sure that no child ever drowns again. Michelle Fox will always remember her two-year-old daughter, Logan, as an outgoing, fearless tomboy in the making. She was just so carefree. It was inspiring, in a sense, to, to live like her. But this past May, Logan's life was cut short after a drowning accident in her family's backyard pond. A family friend was watching Logan and her sisters at the time. I look at my phone and I get a text that says 911 Logan. What's going on? Is she okay? And she said, no, she fell in the pond. And at that point, EMS was here giving CPR. After multiple attempts to save her life, Logan passed away at Toledo Hospital. And despite the almost unbearable pain, her entire family has spent the past few months not just moving forward, but working to make a change. We have to find beauty um, in life because Logan was here. Michelle started Because of Logan, a movement to raise money in her daughter's honor for children to take ISR swim lessons. ISR swim training teaches babies as young as six months to flip over and rescue themselves. This has saved many local children who have accidentally fallen into a backyard pool or pond. While incredibly beneficial, the training costs more than typical swimming lessons, which is why Michelle is trying to connect more local families to this resource. Considering the cost and people who have big families like we do, I mean, even if you don't even have a big family, it's still a pretty big cost and it's a pretty big commitment. Even though the accident happened right in the Fox's backyard pond, they refuse to let it stop them from enjoying fun experiences together in that space. Their goal is to ensure, because of Logan, no child ever drowns again by connecting them to these life-saving lessons. I'll be honest, it's kind of mixed emotions. Um, I think it takes me back to the day and wishing that I gave Logan those skills because she would maybe still be here today. But I'm also so happy that because of Logan, a life was saved. In Waterville, Amy Stagerwald, WTOL 11. And if you have interest in attending the first Because of Logan event fundraiser, it is coming up this Friday. Tickets are still available. We've got a link with more information under this story on our website, WTOL.com.